Hi everyone, this is Casual Hunter Felix. When doing Rampage quests, you may be given the objective to inflict 6, 8 or 10 status ailments during the quest. This can be difficult to achieve if you are doing the Rampage solo or with a group of random players who are not equipped for the task. It is important to meet as many objectives as you can when doing Rampage quests because they affect the rank you get at the end of the quest, which then affects the amount of rewards you get. In this video, I'm going to show you 8 ways that you can inflict status ailments in Rampage Quest so that you can meet this objective every time. The first way is to simply bring a weapon that can inflict status. Whether it is a pair of dual blades or a light bow gun, bringing a weapon that can also inflict status will allow you to meet the objective with the least amount of work. The second way is to bring poison smoke bombs. You can carry 10 of them with you without bringing extra materials, and that can help you poison 1 or 2 monsters per hot. You can then go back to camp in between each hot to replenish them. The third way is to equip your palicos and palamutes with weapons that can inflict status. Using palicos and palamutes that have the skill status attack up is also useful. However, I think that this method will not give you consistent results because each monster in the Rampage will only appear for a short period of time before they are repelled, so your Palicos and Palamutes might not have time to do enough status damage. Having said that, they can still help you if you are also using a weapon that is inflicting the same status. The fourth way is to use the Gathering Palico because their very first move, Endemic Life Barrage, can quite reliably inflict status on a monster. This move causes your Palico to launch either a Poison Toad, Paralysis Toad, or a Sleep Toad at the monster. So far, I've only seen my Palicos launch the Poison Toad and Paralysis Toad at monsters during Rampages. Nevertheless, it is a job well done. The fifth way is to use Hinoa and Minoto to inflict status on the monsters. Just call on them when they're unlocked and they will do the job for you. The sixth way was a new discovery for me when I was doing this video and watching the footages. Besides Hinoa and Minoto, Master Yutsuchi can also inflict status. As you can see here, after being webbed by Master Yutsuchi, both Apex Mizutsune and Amudron were poisoned. This is another footage showing the same thing happening to Rajang. The seventh way is to use monsters that can inflict status by Waven riding them and then using their status inflicting moves to attack other monsters. Monsters such as Rattalos, Retian, Meshatin, and Great Wongi can help you do that. The eighth and final way that I know of is actually not very reliable, but it is very cool. It is to Waven ride a monster and then get hit by a status inflicting move of another monster. In this instance, you can see that I'm Waven riding Omodron, and the Apex Rattalos hit my Omodron with a Poison Claw attack. Of course, my Omodron was already poisoned by Master Yusuchi's Silk Bark attack. But if it wasn't already poisoned, Apex Rattalos could have poisoned the monster that I was riding on. That's all the methods I know on how to inflict status ailments in Rampage quests. Let me know if I missed any methods and all the best in your rampage hunts. Thank you for watching and hope you found the video useful.